All right, Kodak Black has decided to drop a 19-track album. Of course, you know. Everybody wants to drop a fucking 19-track album, all right? I don't understand. I really I really don't understand. I, I like I don't I don't I don't get it. 19 tracks. I mean, as much as I become a fan of Kodak Black, why is it 19 tracks, man? 19 like Why devil ass air shot right now? That nigga try me. <laughs> Track four, let him know. Look, just like nobody even care if you be round. Why I fall out with my niggas when I'm up? I'm a native. Where the car to be when then I want to. Hey, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hey. Kodak Mike got something with the intro now. Hold on, that's a that's a playlist. He did throw a, I, I know, I know uh, Khalid caught a stray. I definitely know Khalid caught a stray. I do think Khalid definitely should have won Best New Artist, though. I'm, I, mean, I, I mean, I hate to break it. It was hard to beat Khalid that year. Um, that was a great year for Khalid. But, I mean, I understand where Kodak was coming from. Kodak had a great year as well. Um, I don't know if you heard that line in there as well. But towards the end, we did get there. He said, if Cardi B won Best New Artist, then so should he. Because he essentially said he made Cardi B. He literally just called out Cardi B as well. Hey, that boy Kodak Slide. And you can look, I understand if you hate the album, you if whatever you hate, remember I always say, man, if you could take three tracks from the album, all right, I feel like that's a successful album, period. If an average consumer can take three to four tracks from your album, bro, then you know you got you you got a good listening experience. All right, that means you got an experience from that album. All right, if you could take three to four tracks from that, that shit's crazy, bro. That intro is insane. Like that that's the intro that's well put together. You know, like definitely Kodak. I say Kodak is at his best when he's speaking his shit, bro. Like when he's speaking from his mind. That nigga Kodak be doing his fucking thing, bro. Like, like for real. <laughs> this bitch go crazy. Hey, I ain't gonna cat with it. Like no bullshit, bro. Like you know, like no, we just chill, listening here. Like we having the week, we just cooling. But like, nah, that was that was. Whenever a song can make me kind of just you know get up, like open my eyes, like I look, you, I can't explain feelings, bro. You know, when you feel some shit, you feel some shit. Period. That's just how I feel. Uh, that's a bar. When you feel some shit, you feel some shit. You know, and that's just how I feel. Um, like when you feel it, man, you can feel it in your soul. You can feel it in your mind. You know, the serotonin start going crazy, man. Like you can feel it, man. And like. I think that hearing this track, this intro, man, this we should have like we got well we two tracks already because Super Gremlin already fire. I don't care what y'all that Super Gremlin goes stupid, and that intro. I, I remember I say how you it's always how you start your album, how you end your album, and in the middle of the album. And I don't mean middle as in like you know the all the middle. I mean like directly the peak middle. That's the important parts of your album. That's really the important parts of your album. That's how I feel. Because if your album is start off ass, nigga, they're going to turn it off before they even get to the good part. You know what I'm saying? Like, at the middle, at least in the middle, like, damn, you're like, why this ass, 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 ass? Oh, that's fire, that's fire. Okay, we're going to keep going. Ass, 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 ass. Oh, man, this shit said outro. You're already at the end. Might as well finish it, right? There you go. Track two, Black for Everything. I mean, Black for Everything. <laughs> Why this shit so fire? <laughs> oh, let me put, let me change the title of the motherfucker goddamn. Oh my god, bro. Dog, this shit is actually fire. The way you let him kill you like a jit. Talking to Will, you said the same. Did you like a lane? You ain't give a damn to up and chain. I was already in pain. That boy, hey, that boy Kodak. First of all, Kodak need to thank his producers because they going stupid for him right now. Kodak already got a voice, but it, when his production is on point, bro, because Kodak voice is crazy. I feel like sometimes it's his production that be lacking. Kodak could do whatever he need. He could add some flavor to the song, but when he get that motherfucker production going, That man said he had to bring TikTok, and obviously, as a Florida boy, you know, you calling everybody a jit. So, you know, Kodak always going to be Florida. He going to be Pomp, you know, uh, where he from? I think, um, yeah, he from Pompano. Yeah, he from Pompano. But I promise I don't tell a shit. That's fire. 
Like I really fuck with this shit Like man Bro tell me why I thought Kodak I thought Kodak really had I thought I thought Kodak really Was gonna put this motherfucker R&B shit on I thought Kodak oh Bro I thought If he was gonna do this for track 3 Bro, I ain't gonna lie, bro. Like, bro, I'm not gonna lie, bro. Like, James, like everybody, I, like the world is not enough is my favorite James Bond game, right? But everybody will always say Golden Eye is their favorite James Bond game. It's the best James Bond game for Nintendo 64, if you guys remember that. Uh, and I always say, man, it, it's the most iconic because it had the Golden Gun, bro. Like, there was no Golden Gun in the world is not enough. It was just one shot, one shot uh, mode. Right, and that's why Golden. That's why Golden Eye is literally the iconic James Bond game. You feel me? Like, literally. What? What that nigga? <laughs> Did he just say he gonna piss on her clitoris? Nandate, nani? What is that? Can't say that. I think this song is a little too long. Uh, I think the song is a little too long. If the song wasn't that long, then it'd be fine. But uh, like other than that, yeah, this is entirely too long. I was just about to say, I was like, yo, did he just really hit me with another piss bar back to back? But if he gonna space his piss, like if he gonna space his piss bars, I mean, I mean, I ain't. I don't support it, but at least you want to space your piss. You feel me? Like, eh. I actually kind of fuck with this track, low key. Like, the track is called Vulnerable, and I was literally just about to say, like, this is a vulnerable ass track. Like, this is literally Kodak kind of just like, you know, what he does best sometimes. You know, um, at the end of the day, man, you know, we all go through what we go through. It's a lot of pain to be given, especially in. In the hood and that kind of community, like it's it's a lot of pain, bro. And so it definitely stays with you for your whole life. So kind of like you know, when, that's why with Kodak, at least you know, it ain't no bullshit. You know that's and that's the one thing I can kind of get behind. Like I'm like yo, like this nigga is speaking everything from his heart. You feel me? Like track three though, like, we skipped it. Um, if you guys didn't know, track ten was vulnerable and we did we skipped it by mistake, by mistake, by mistake. We skipped it by mistake, by mistake. People are like, Dave, 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 you skipped it, you skipped it, Dave, you skipped it. We know, all right. We know we skipped it. All right, now we on track three, grinding all season. It's a hell no for me. It's like a nah. Bro, that beat cadence right there is so fucking terrible. Like, it is so terrible, bro. Track four, Smackers. He's still going. This nigga just like just he just he's just not stopping. I keep shooting for my shooters in case them niggas wanna beat. Got two minutes, one on. At least with like calling my spirit, like he was like just you know it was, it was some it was some flow to it. Like this nigga was just talking. Miles wanna come in here and say he got the stem player. You know he got that he got that motherfucking ABC money. And he wanna say he got the stem player to us broke niggas. Track five, everything. Own everything. <laughs> hey man, that's a that's a hard line right there. Remember I told you ugly game. Hey, the one thing you can always do when you ugly or you not tall or whatever, man, is get your confidence up, period. 
Always get your confidence up. If you where you ever, wherever you lack, you gotta you gotta you gotta umph in other spots. All right. So if you know you ugly in in society, in terms of society, then then by all means do some other shit. Be funny. You know what I'm saying? Get your money up. You know, get fit. You know, do some shit you can control. You feel me? You feel me? Like that that's the problem. You know, everybody's like, oh, I'm just ugly, I can't do nothing. Nah, you can you can get fit. You can be an ugly fit, dude. They ain't gonna tell you at least you fit. And be funny. You feel me? That's on fire. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> This song's like fire. It's like this song like weirdly fire. I don't know what it is. Like I was just kind of just vibing to it. It's like one of them songs, you know, I just be playing and you know, you just you're gonna vibe and you're gonna vibe, you know. Like, that's how I feel. Track seven, purple stamp. I might pull up with Becky Jean. I was rich, I was 17. They was calling my destiny. You can go and ask Zephanies. Her pants be stay driven. They sleeping on me, Martin Luther King. I only drink Bella because I get paid. My mama got images on the train. Living on 50 G's for this month. I'm smoking on caviar, eating on caviar. Whole pound of purple screens in the trunk. I still got a purpose now. I run with a murder count. Ah. That wasn't that bad, but I feel like that was a very generic kind of like trap track, right? There, there definitely has been better tracks uh, than that, and um, yeah, so I feel like there, there's definitely been better tracks than that, and uh, you, you know, you could have did. There's better tracks you could have did. Put it that way, you know. Oh, yeah, I'm just saying. Damn, this this song had potential. This song had potential, bro. Like this song had potential, but I feel like like what the like why he come in like that? What? Pompano. Oh, this, 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 this the one. This the one. Try to keep blues going in my pocket like I'm pyro. Broke red, get your fucking on me, cause I'm lit. Oh, that's a playlist. That's far. Niggas out here so shysty. So gotta be way more shysty. Broke red, bitch, you jumping on me like I'm crib. Leaking on me. Oh, this song fire, bro. Holy shit, this song fire. Holy shit. Like on everything, bro. Like this. Man. Man. Like the little drop, little subtle drop, and then like, man, that's. That's the one. Track nine, Usain Boo. Usain Boo. What the fuck? Own it, own it, own it, own it. Oh my god. Damn, that's a Miami classic. With white people. Oh, that's a Miami classic. That's a Miami. That's a Miami classic. Oh my god. Oh man, that's a Miami classic. What? And then this is the original original. Oh man, it's already. Damn. Shit almost made me cry, nigga. It's crazy. Damn, this one for Florida. This 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 one for Miami, bro. Like this one for the South, like. This one for Dave, this one for Brower. You know? Kodak, uh, you, you know, you, most people probably won't feel that, but if you're from Brower, you're from Dave, you feel that. <laughs> That's actually a fire track. A little homage to us, you know? I fuck with that. Obviously, you already heard Vulnerable Cook, man, but that's track fire, man. If you got from South Florida, man, you know Beam I. 
DJ Chipman, Iman, on and on. Um, you know, you know, we play fast shit in Miami all the time. So back in the day, uh, even though I listen. It's kind of ironic because everybody like your dad. Why you listen to slow music if you're from Miami? You know you like fast shit, and that's how I usually be. Yeah, fast shit, and uh, I don't know, man. Um, you know, I just grew up on that kind of shit, and so it kind of just shows for real, for real, like that Kodak is from Florida, from South Florida. It's a lot of great music that comes out. I'm so high is probably one of the best South Florida tracks that ever came out, and um, and still didn't get across the world. Maybe during TikTok days it would have, but. Uh, social media was not around when that song got popular, and um, it's still one of the greatest Florida bops of all time, man. Like, uh, and I'm glad that a lot of Denzel Curry remade a kind of song like that, and I'm glad Kodak's doing that because now it just puts those songs respectfully, man. Those are some bops, man. I'm, 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 I'm I feel bad for people that don't know that <laughs> those know those music, like know that know those tracks, man, because it's crazy, man. It's fucking crazy. It's insane, shit, man. Track 11, Elite Division. West Coast? I don't know how I feel about West Coast Kodak. I'm not really, I'm not really feeling the West Coast Kodak. Maybe a grower? I don't know, man. You know, Kodak from South Florida, man, you know. Y'all already know how I feel. I'm kind of just like up and down with it. Y'all, y'all was fucking with that or like what, what's up? Damn, this shit far. Fuck, bro. This shit crazy. Better make it count on this bitch. Cause slippers count. What you gonna do if he's slipping? Get him off. Dog, that. Well, that was. That was a. That's like a Ken I track. If y'all remember Ken I from way back in the day. That's from his first album. Like one of his low first albums. And like, can I? Oh my god! Like that's one of my favorite Kodak tracks. Like that, that it's some definitely some gem. It's some hot points on this album. Some gems on this bitch. Some hot points. Like, um, again, man, if it was a little shorter, man, this nigga Kodak would have had some here, man. It's just a little too long for me. I like it always too long, especially when you're not as creative. Um, you know, I'm not gonna sit there saying these trap artists aren't that creative. It's just, you know, you can only do so much when you're just doing the same kind of shit over and over again. But man, God, that hit that that Omega was. That boy was speaking from the from from life from from the real shit. You feel me? Hidden houses, track thirteen. Hidden houses. Did we listen to this already, or am I tripping? Did we listen to this already, or am I tripping? Yeah, that, that, I was like, that's what I was like. The track is fire. Damn, I must have skipped it too. I must have had it on skip. Yeah, I was about. To, then what? Which one did I skip? That was fire. I'm, oh, yeah, you're right. I must have skipped and then I grinded all season. No, but we listened to Vulnerable too. So, oh, we must have did, oh, we must have did Hidden Houses and then and Vulnerable. And then we did Grinding All Season because Vulnerable was ass, but Hidden Houses is fire. Oh, this is the track that I said that was ass, but it was, it, then it was going to grow on me. And he said the piss line. That's the piss line. The piss line. I think so. Fuck. fuck. That shit kind of sound fire now. Fuck. Track 14, Love Isn't Enough. Oh, it's that, it's that horny. Yeah, that's uh, some. I know how I feel about horny tracks, nigga. You gotta, you gotta execute the horny if you gonna horny it. You know, feel me? Like if you gonna horny it, nigga, then then execute it by by horny. You know what I'm saying? Come with the full on force of horny. Track 15, take you back, featuring Lil Dirt. Oh, 
I don't like this. Kodak already said that he loves R and B. Like he he said that um, you know R and B is like one of the you know he, he even sung the shit yeah, like he loves R and B like that's why he be singing all the time. Like the best part of R and B that I love, man, is like you ain't gotta be the best singer, especially like that's the beautiful thing about R and B. Like um, half the time, you know, you just you know you, you it's like karaoke, bro. I don't know if y'all ever done karaoke, but it's kind of the same thing. It's like karaoke, bro. Like you just. You try your best to sing. And if you could do it, you could do it. And if not, uh, you know, and if not, you know. Give me kiss. I got a mouth full of stitch. Please. I'm sorry I cheated. I'm sorry I cheated. Trash. Please. Are you good? I'm going to spend more time with you than this. About these streets ASAP. Before it's too late. I'd have been around murderers and burglars and all that shit. For long, you get a lot and you don't pay a visit. He got oh, sentenced, came home, did a big, came home, then went again. Cause eyes around pain, they take me in vain, they entertained by it. Niggas talking about my home, and I'm slinging K's by it. I'm so good, I young, so I gotta live alone. That's fire. Holy shit. Kind of the same thing I said, like 21 Savage, bro. I was like, you know, with 21 Savage, man. Remember when I say he's getting them soulful beats, it, it unlocks a new kind of monster and exactly the same thing happened when he got to the 21 savage beats you, you know you get to the 21 savage shit and he like a lot he just did the other track he just did i forgot uh this earlier this year um you know you get shit like that it's like fuck bro like that shit is crazy obviously the next track is called super gremlin which i feel like is crazy if you really think about it um track 18 is i wish ray j one wish so he's sampling Ray J one with it just goes to show me that man that man <laughs> that boy Kodak love his R and B boy he really a Floridian ass nigga boy. That's terrible though. It always upsets me when I get a, when you get a sample and then it's trash. Oh man, it's literally like the worst. Like when you get a crazy ass sample and you're like oh the, the song was fire from the sample like. And then, like, they get on the sample, and it's like, come on, bro. That's, that's fucking ass. Trash. Fire track, though. I fuck with Love and War. I feel like this is like the uh, party like a rock star kind of song, right? Like, um, you know, you t t totally do tubular type talks. Yeah, broken ride that wave. Yeah, get on that. Yeah. You know, shit like that. You know, Kodak just kind of doing that. For real, for real, man, I got to say, man, uh, I fuck with. I, if you if you could take five, five tracks, four tracks from an album, I feel like you always have an experience no matter what. The album is going to be good to you, period. Uh, not good, but it's like. It left a mark on you. Let's put it that way. It left a mark on you. We wouldn't sit there and say it's good because that's all subjective at the end of the day. Bad is good. Bad is good. Good is bad. It's all subjective at the end of the day. But if you could take five tracks from an album, that means it did its, it did its job, right? And um, I'm surprised. I'm, I'm really surprised at this Kodak album. Uh, for as long as it was, I did not expect me for me to enjoy and and, and get enjoy moments like I did. Uh, for this album, it literally had nine tracks. There's about nine or eight tracks that I really fucked with on here. And I added to my playlist. Again, I'm a, I'm a South Florida boy till I die always, man. I'm a Floridian forever. And so, like, hearing some of those tracks, like the uh, the Beam I, On and On Eamon sample, man, that was definitely a homage to South Florida. Um, you know, that intro, the first two tracks on Hitting Hard, Hitting Houses, Omega. Uh, he Loved the Streets. I feel like, man, a lot of these tracks, man, Vulnerable uh, kind of set it off. I remember, I remember I said the middle of your album, right? Vulnerable was in the middle, at the peak middle. So it, it kind of shows you, man, like it, uh, Kodak is, is very vulnerable at times, man. At the end of the day, you know, as, as hardcore as he is and as gangster as he is, man, um, he's a human being. And he goes through what he goes through, just like every other person from the project, every other person from the hood, every black person in America, essentially. Going through the same kind of trials and tribulations that, um, you know, are, are once upon a time went through it. You know, there's obviously some outliers, but it's kind of crazy, man, just hearing Kodak, hearing his testimony. Hearing where he's speaking from, uh, after hearing, um, you know, uh, after hearing Super Gremlin and No Sense, I, I did not expect this to be what it was, right? I ex expected definitely some more 
banging some more rap some more hardcore shit but you know he definitely opened up on his album and um you know he back for everything man welcome back kodak like for real for real like it's definitely better than that b whatever that shit would have dropped when he was in jail for sure and um yeah this was a pretty solid album uh for, for what it was for a kodak standard this is a pretty solid album i'm not sitting there saying it's kendrick lamar to bim and butterfly but this shit is pretty solid like for real that ass and um you know, if you kind of like South Florida rap, if you like Kodak, if you like Floridian shit, then I feel like you're going to, you, everybody in Florida is definitely going to be bumping one of these songs this weekend and this week for sure. So that being said, man, get in the comments below, man. I'm what you think. Don't forget to follow me so that means you're here. Uh, to the next time, it's your boy Dev. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share all that good stuff. And um, to the next time, man. Uh, stick around for the stream if you want to stick around. Full video on Patreon. But uh, yeah, man. If I had to give this album a rating, I would give it a uh, 7.5 out of 10. Straight up. 7.5 out of 10. Straight up. That's my rating.